Hey guys, it's Nutcase, and today we're going to take a look at Should You Take Commissions? I'm an artist who's been taking commissions for 10 plus years now, so I thought this might help some of you that aren't taking commissions yet, but think you might want to. So first off, I personally believe you need to be at least 18 years or older, but also you can have the assistance of a parent or guardian if you're not, and this leads into my second thing on my list is ways to take payment for your commissions. So in a lot of these services, you need to be 18 years or older. Your parent or guardian can make an account and have it under them and take your money for you if you are not 18. That's why I say you're going to need, you know, their help if you're not going to be 18 years or older. Okay, so ways to take money. You got that have a terms of service and a will and won't draw decided before you start taking commissions. I think this is going to be better for people that way they know what, you know, with terms of service, you're telling them what you're going to guarantee with a commission, etc. I'll have mine linked down below so you guys can take a look. If you like it, feel free to copy it if you agree with it, but just make sure you agree with everything in it. <laughs> but I don't mind you guys copying it if it works for you as well. I know it takes a lot to like think about what you wanted to say. And your will and won't draws, think about like what you're willing to draw, what you're not willing to draw, have those laid out. So that way like if somebody's going to commission you and they see, oh, they won't draw this thing that I want, they're not gonna commit they're not gonna try and commission you and make you feel awkward and stuff if they read that. So yeah. Next have samples of your commissions. So if you're gonna do a sketch, have a sketch sample that is what you would, that's like a sample of what would a finished product be from you. What you say a sketch is might be different than what I say a sketch is. So you need to show them what you mean by each level of commission. That way people know what they're getting. Now, there are some people that, you know, will still commission you even without that, but it's really helpful because then they know what they're getting and more people are likely to commission something if they know what they're getting. Have a price sheet. So once you have samples, have a price sheet. And before you take payment, you need to decide when you are going to take payment. So are you going to take payment before or after you finish the art? Or are you going to take it halfway? Like, you know, once you make it halfway. I personally take payment up front because I've been burned several times where I don't get paid for the work that I do. But I understand as a new artist, you might not feel comfortable doing that, or people may not feel comfortable paying you up front. Now, if you don't feel comfortable not getting paid up front, just take the money up front, and if they don't want to do that, don't deal with them. But if you are willing to do, you know, once it's finished, just make sure to not give them a finished usable image until they pay you. So like, watermark the shit out of it. <laughs> Make sure it's too small for them to use for anything, etc. But they can see that it's finished and that way they pay you. Hopefully, that way. Uh, hold yourself to timelines. Make sure if you tell somebody that you're going to do something by a certain date, that you do it by that date. And if you don't, keep in contact with your clients. Let them know what's going on. More people are willing to wait if you're the one that initiates, hey, I'm going to take an extra day, hey, I need an extra week because of X, than it is if they have to contact you and see what's going on. So just make sure to do that. Now I'm going to say that you're also going to need a website to host most of this stuff on. You don't need to have a personal website, you can have a public posting website like ArtStation, uh, Tumblr, anything like that. I wouldn't suggest Twitter have all your stuff, but you could use Twitter along with like Google Docs to have all your stuff as an outside link. And you can, you know, break down everything into a Google Doc and it's free. I have my own website that I have all this stuff on, so it doesn't, you know, I have it all listed on there, so I don't need to host it someplace else. But I understand sometimes like not wanting to have your own website at first, so I get that. Now, the next thing I'm going to talk about is should you take not safe for work commissions? If you are under 18, do not take not safe for work commissions. You can get yourself and the client in trouble for doing this. Please 
do not do it. Just wait until you're 18. Okay. <laughs> but if you are 18 or older and you would like to work on that say for work commissions, just make sure whatever you're taking to take payment is okay with this. <laughs> Because you don't want someone to do a chargeback and you not be able to, you know, get your money back because you can't show whatever company is that you've finished the work that you've done. So, it's really up to you if you're over 18. But yeah. Oh, I'm gonna mention one more thing here. Pay your taxes. Contact the IRS. Contact your state. See how much you need to make before you need to pay taxes on the money you make. Because if you get audited, it's worse than if you just pay your taxes. <laughs> and I've learned this. I haven't been audited, but I've had to pay back taxes. So please make sure to do that. I want to say thank you again to my Patreon supporters. You guys are amazing. And I hope you guys found this video informative. If you have any questions, please leave them down below in the comments section. Next week's video is going to be how I take commissions. I'm going to break down how I take commissions and work on them so you guys can see what I do. Thank you guys for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye!